Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a makeup look and we'll see what we come out with. So I'm only doing one eye today just because it's easier. So I already did my eyebrow. So we're going to start off with a little bit of the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Um, it is in the shade 20B, which is light. So, I bought the excess. We're just gonna do under the eye. And here. And yes, I already did prime. So, I don't have anything to worry about for that. So, now I'm going to be using a mini sponge blender. Why is a beauty blender? And we're gonna go under the eye, just so you can get a clear, light base for the eye. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish blending off camera and I'll see you guys in a sec. Okay, so I blended everything out. So that means that we're going to need to bake. So today I'm gonna be using the Thrive uh, Translucent powder so I'm just gonna pat 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 um I'm pretty sure this is a organic kind of makeup line so I'm gonna go ahead and grab one of my brushes and we're just gonna dip in here and we're just gonna bake the whole under eye Lots and lots of powder. And we will lightly pat the eye lid. Just so we can get that all set and so it's matte and not so crazy. Alright. So the next step is we need to pick a palette that we want to use for our eyes so i'm thinking that we are going to use this palette today it is called the day to night and it's shadows on the go um i don't know the brand i'll have to include that in the description below but i've never used this palette i actually just got it so it has metallic shades and pretty basic nude shades i guess so on here there's different names so there's let's just cover this so it's not flare so this one is wall so it is a light shimmer shade so we'll do a swatch Ooh, it's like a nice rose gold color next we have labrad and this is a darker tone metallic gorgeous and then we have the next color which is called hate and it's a blue metallic gorgeous then we have madison which is also kind of a rose gold color or gold. And then we have the last metallic shade, which is called Beacon, which is more of a pink shimmer. Also included in this little small palette is a brown color and a primer, I guess, a white color. And this is a black primer. So, um... For the black primer, it's probably like an eyeliner, kind of. So we'll use that for eyeliner today. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and dip in to Hollywood, which is gonna be super exciting. I'm so excited for this new palette that I got. And it comes out, so it's a little interesting. That's cool. Alright, so let's go ahead and get a blending brush. Um, this 
is a angled blending brush, if anybody's wondering. So I'm gonna go ahead and dip into the color Hollywood, which is the nude brown color. Um, I'll use the mirror on here so it's easier. So we're gonna start out on the outer crease. And we're just going to lightly blend around the edges. So what I'm seeing in this palette is every time that you dip in to the color, it comes off like super easily and there's a lot of extra, but that's okay because you can just blow it away. So that's good. So we're going to do the outer lid area and also right above the crease line. Again, this is the color Hollywood. Okay, and then also in the uh, crease line right here, I'm going to go ahead and grab from another palette that I have. This is the Sleep Makeup line, and this is the Cream Tea Makeup Palette. So I'm going to be taking this brown color right here, and I'm also going to use that color and blend out in the outer crease. Just so we can get a nice smoky finishness. So I'm with the Hollywood color, it's a lot more peachy, but yet brown. So that's what I really liked about the palette is that it's definitely more neutral colors with a little bit of shimmers. So now I'm gonna be taking this color right here. Um, it's a kind of white shimmer. It's called Las Vegas and I'm going to use that right on the lid so we have a clear base to put in some shimmers. So I'm grabbing that with a flat brush so it's easy to apply and then you're just going to lightly apply that to the lid. This will give a nice little cut crease I guess you could call it to the eye and it will separate the different types of colors that you're using. So you really want to pack it on there. These are very creamy and soft eyeshadows. So with the Las Vegas color on the, on the lid, um, I'm going to go ahead and grab another flat brush. And I think today I'll be using the color Wall. It's actually called Wall Street, but you know, we'll just call it Wall for now. And I'm gonna be applying that on top of the lid. Dab a little bit off. So this is a very light color. There's not a lot of pigment coming off my brush, so I'm gonna try and put a little bit more. There's not a lot of product coming off from the brush onto my eye, so just so it's easier, I'm gonna use my ring finger and just apply it because it did show up a little bit better when I use my finger and we obviously want the color to pop. And we're just going to bring it all the way to the brown, which is on the other crease, and then we will blend it out after. Okay, so I'm going to give you guys a nice close up here. There is some golds and browns in the corner and then the peachy color or Hollywood, I guess, on the outer corner. So I think I'm gonna go back in with my blending brush and put a little bit more of the Hollywood color in the inner corner of my eye, just to make it pop more and make it so that my eye is not completely naked. And then let's give a close up here. It's kind of a, what's the word, like a circle form. So you see a lot of beauty influencers do tape and they have a little more of a cut crease there, but I think I'll just leave it like that. So 
Next, I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of eyeliner on. So we're gonna go back into the day and night palette here. And I'm gonna use the black primer and I'm gonna swatch it and I'll see if I'm gonna use it for eyeliner. So I got these rose gold brushes from this company. It's called Best Top. Um, they're made in China. I got them a long time, a little bit over maybe like five months ago. And they're really good brushes. And it comes with this paper that describes what each brush does and what they're called. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch this black primer. So it kind of is like super soft and it's not really like an eyeliner. It's not dark enough. Like I usually really like to pat on my eyeliner just so it's like nice and dark and defined. So I think today we'll just go in with a classic. And for my eyeliner, I usually like using these markers. Well, they're not markers, but they look like markers. They're super easy to apply. I actually found out these markers through one of my dance things that I did. So thank you to whoever had these markers and gave me the idea to go get them. So I've been using these for a little bit over five years. Not this one, but like markers in general. I also like using this Maybelline liquid eyeliner. It's a really good eyeliner. It packs on very easily. And that's the brush. It's kind of get the London look dried out honestly but um you can put a little bit of water in the eyeliner and it'll revive back so i'm gonna go ahead and do my eyeliner off camera for you guys so that way you don't have to sit here and wait twenty thousand years for me to do my eyeliner so be right back and we're back so i did a cat eyeliner i guess is what they call it so it's very wingy I guess and I use that with the Maybelline Master Precise All Day Liquid Eyeliner in the color black obviously. So now what I'm going to do while that is semi drying I guess is I'm going to take I have a couple of flat brushes in this makeup thing or makeup pouch I guess with all my brushes and I'm just going to take one of the flat brushes that I have here and go ahead and do the bottom lash line for my makeup. So I think in that, or I think with that, I'm going to go ahead and use the color Hollywood for a more subtle under eye. And then towards the inner corner here, I'll add some more of the wall color, which is the shimmer that we put on. So I'm gonna go ahead and just go under my lashes. Sorry about that, I got a notification. So if you hear me scrambling my words just then, that is why. So we're gonna go back and use the color Hollywood again and finish the under eye. So you want to get as close as you can to your waterline so that way it looks more subtle. But if you're going for a more extreme look, you can go a little bit under your lashes. So in my case, my bottom lashes are super long, so I do tend to go a little bit more on the extreme side when it goes under my lashes. So I'm just going to go a little bit under so you can kind of see the pigment that is under. Alright, and I'm also going to just use the same brush I did like. So now I'm going to go ahead and since we are done with the whole eye look, I'm going to go ahead and wipe away the excess powder. I'm gonna go ahead and use my sleek uh, makeup palette for the mirror so I don't have to come up all the way close into the camera. And I'm just gonna go ahead and wipe away all the excess powder. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and do my 
mascara and then we're gonna put some falsies on so we can make it a little more extreme and i really like adding um false lashes because my eyelashes are super long but they don't stay curled so if you guys have any suggestions about that put them down in the comments below and if you haven't already subscribed go ahead and subscribe i'm so excited okay I'm gonna go ahead and curl my eyelashes. Um, I don't know where the curler is for. I'm like pretty sure it's from Sephora, probably or Ulta. I'm gonna go ahead and use the Covered Girl Lash Blast Volume. Um, you can probably get this at Target. One of my friends actually bought this for me because my birthday was two days ago. So happy late birthday to me. But I'm gonna go ahead and use this, and I'm gonna use this as a base for my top lashes. Now for my bottom lashes, I don't have to use a base. I can just go ahead and use my main color. So this is a brown, so it'll kind of like get rid of all the powder that was on there and it'll help the brown to show up more. So I would say this is a pretty like night look. This is probably my favorite mascara. It's called the Last... Blah, blah, blah. Mm. This is called the Lash Sensational uh, Full Fan Effect. It's from Maybelline. You can also get this at Target. Most of my makeup is drugstore makeup just because I don't feel like wasting my money on expensive products that I know I can get better quality with lower or less expensive makeup. So this is going to be my final run through with this or with the last mascara. So I usually do this for one swipe and then I let that dry and then I will probably go ahead and do my lower lash and then I will end and we're just going to dip in one more time with my lash sensational one from Maybelline and we're gonna go ahead and do our bottom lashes sorry if this is like all over the view but I don't have glasses on so I can't really see oh my god I try so hard when I make my makeup videos uh because on my Instagram I used to put in like the lash videos or not lash videos but like the whole makeup look and like speed the whole thing up and every time I did my bottom lashes like oh my god gross so while we let that wait i'm just gonna go ahead and grab some lashes um i am using the the silk lashes these are pretty big lashes so i don't know if i'll use these ones but i can always try them out to see how long i want them um because i also have a couple other br or brushes i also have a couple other types of lashes that i could probably use so let's see if I like this. No, these are too big for today's makeup look. Now, I'm sure if I did the whole thing where you get rid of your eyebrow, like you make your own eyebrows, I'd probably use these again, but not for today. So I have a couple other lashes. I'm gonna go ahead and use these ones. They are a little, Fanny, they're kind of gross, not gonna lie. So I'm just gonna go ahead and swipe them with, maybe not this one. So I have this mascara, it's a organic wear mascara. I'm not really sure where you can get this. I'm pretty sure you can get it at Target. Um, yeah, so it's organic mascara, which I don't even know what is the thing, but I'm just gonna go ahead and swipe these with mascara. So that way they look a little less gross. And then that way they'll blend in easier with my eyelashes. Or my real eyelashes. So when I do, or when I put the lash glue on, I tend to go a little crazy. So that's probably why they're so gross, but those are swipes with mascara now. So, I personally like to use the clear to white or duo eyelash glue, but I do have black. So, I'm thinking today we're going to use black just because I am wearing black eyeliner. Because before I've worn like red eyeliner, this will come out. That would be, that'd be great. Okay, well, it's not coming out today, so I guess we'll have to use the white. 
there is product in here, don't worry. It's just not coming out. So, so I guess we'll use this one, which is, again, gross, but it's okay. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply the glue to the lash line. And I have been watching more videos about how to apply like the lash glue and like some hacks and some like beauty influencers just like have like the the special one where you could just like swipe the glue on and then put the glue on which or the eyelash on sorry my vocab gone today but it's okay i want to be able to do that so this is currently drying so while we wait for that we'll go ahead and put on some highlighter i'm using the revelation or revolution and call it revelation but i'm using this for highlight in the color sunkiss um it's a golden highlighter and i don't like using a fan brush for some reason so i'm going to be using this elf clear brush right here really like it and it's super easy to apply you just put here dab a little off and apply and um sometimes i like wet the brush so i can get more of a pop but today i didn't just because this is a more matte look so i want it to be more of a matte highlighter if that makes sense So I think what I'm going to start doing is posting twice a week. I'm going to try and commit to that or at, at least once a week because I've been trying for weeks on end to get myself to actually commit to videos and doing some stuff, but I haven't. So I'm going to go ahead and apply the lash to my eye and I really should get like a professional little camera but right now I'm using my phone so it's okay. I'm just gonna go ahead and apply the lash. Again like I said before I feel like lashes do make the look all come together. I don't know why, that's just my opinion. So I'm going to be using a lash applicator to stick my lashes, my actual lashes and the thick eyelashes together to give it more of a complete look. And I'm going to try my best to attach them very well. So, I'm stuck. So the most trouble I have in applying lashes is in my inner corner, it just doesn't seem to stick very well. So also, if you have any, like, I guess requests or anything, just leave them down below what I should do after this video. I'm thinking about doing, like, day in my life because quarantine, like, people are, like, bored. I'll, like, ooh, me too. I've been watching Get Ready's With Me all the time, especially before I go to sleep. It's just like, oh my god, like, when can I commit to doing that? But it's okay. So I think after this video, I'm going to go ahead and go live. Don't forget to follow my main account and my makeup account. Description will be down below. So I'm going to finish attaching this. All right. And then I'm going to apply a little bit more of mascara. But I'm going to use this one, which is the Organic Wear. Again, you can probably find it at Target. And yes, all my makeup is from pretty much Target. Some of it, like I have this Dior concealer, but it's kind of running out. Dior is so expensive. Like that concealer is $33. Why would I spend something like that? I don't know. It just looks pretty. But it was definitely like a summer concealer like it's a lot darker than I because I tried using it after we got back from Christmas break and I was just like so dark under my eyes and 
Also a hack for if you're wearing concealer, you want your concealer to be lighter, like a shade or two lighter than your actual skin tone. So I think that's it. Like that looks really good. It's a very subtle look. Looks really good. Like the comparison, like you could go glam and non-glam and I didn't even put like any foundation on the side nothing it's just concealer and some powder yeah so if you guys want a skincare tutorial I will give that to you just make sure you like subscribe turn on your post notifications because I want you guys to make sure that you stay updated for every time I post but other than that thank you guys so much for watching um you get all glammed up on one side of my face and not the other <laughs> sorry but yeah um i have a couple more videos planned for you guys so yeah thank you guys so much for watching bye